Hey everybody, Coffee Traveler here. I have a problem. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, we have Dizzy. We have Drake. We have books. Let's see how it goes. Seems like a hard move. This team won't move around all that much and takes a while to prep. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Card A. I think the A types on the basic shots go to zero, which is great. Yeah, this goes to four, which is fine. This is zero. This goes to more damage. The A types are like really good. Or prep with a boss artifact would be interesting, but eh. Basic block goes to zero, block shot goes to A. We have a ton of block. Goes to two damage. We have a ton of block just to get us started. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm gonna move over and slug shot this. Get that shit out of here. Then we shuffle our deck before having garbage cards in it so that we're back to all of our good cards like this. Just disable that shit. Just get that out of here. And the two, the two upgrades are actually incredible. So much damage. Um, block evolution. And we do like to block a lot. Uh, I don't know if this is where it's at, but okay. I see upgrades. Wow, this path is kind of insane. Brimford in Act 1. Hold on to something. Sure. There you go. Well, oh, on my way now. Uh. Hmm. Is it a good afternoon? I think removing a basic shot is better, but like, ugh, our deck is kind of light on damage. We'll look at an upgrade. Okay. Oh, it jams them all together. This ends fights so succinctly. Holy shit. We actually also don't have a good way to move around. So having like basic dodge A is like pretty good. So you can always play it every time it shows up. Is that right, though? I don't know. Let's take it, because I like moving around and we have no way to move around. It seems wrong, though. Like, so wrong. I can't really lunge at it. But I do want to shoot them. We'll just put ourselves on fire to start. If we lose some hull, at least we get to finish the fight. What's in my deck? More movement. At least we won't catch on fire, but uh, we will take two hull here. As good as we block, we can still draw like crap because we don't have a lot of draw cards, so... Um, we will opt to not take this and can shield surge some of our shields back. What's in the deck? EMP slug is incredible, especially in this fight. Uh, this basic dodge being able to be played all the time is uh, pretty pretty cozy. We could just use some more card draw and other things. Uh, lessen the heat, but all of our all of our damage cards are uh, gone. What's in the deck? I have cannot move. We can move one with this. I think it's the play. Just fire and rage. So I mean why we can't move around a lot being painful. So being able to always play the evasion card felt really good. I don't know that we have a ton of like manipulation for this, but we can find it. I do not like flashpoint. I think it's really bad. Also three damage zero. It does damage one us, but you know. While your hull is under half max, all Drake's cards deal plus one damage. Ooh, I only have one Drake card that does damage. 
But I have a card that damages us, so we could manipulate that in a way. Favorite little vector. I'm books. Upgrade. This then removes itself. It only takes one shard. It does put less pressure on shard generation because we have like very little shard generation. This flipping over to damage is pretty good too, but I don't know. Let's take this. We could take the uh, removal, but nah. All of these cards deal one more damage. I mean, I'm playing that all the time. Every time you miss a shot, draw a card. Eh. eh. Spike 2. Hello. How are you? We have a lot of damage options now. It makes it pretty interesting here. Uh, we get to turn this off so you don't get to put junk into my uh, deck, which I love. Big fan of. Because that's how you do. You just put a ton of junk in my deck. I don't have any crystals, but I don't think this is bad here because it puts heat onto ending the, the fight. Right? Like if I have a two damage something, which we have. Oh, we need one more. So we move over and do this. I think manipulating our hull in an interesting way. This is too slow. It's way too slow. Cost one to give two. Stun shot does actually one damage now. I think I'll take the stun shot because we already have a stun. Serenity every third turn. Fracture detection. Brittle is actually incredible. Uh, this should probably be like an uncommon rather than a common. This is a, actually incredible. Not everything has a... Uh, has. Oh no, it can be on any part. So not every ship has so many parts like this one, but Jumbo's also in the middle here, like uh, very uh, weak in the middle here, right? Get to play that for free, get to play seal Shield Surge. Love that. I do not have any shards yet. I don't know that I need to end the fight this succinctly. What if we shoot once and see? This is not the place. That's the place. All right, well, I'll take six for one hull. It's fine. Uh, three and three is like done with the fight. This is why you did the extra damage early so that you could end the fight. Sure, we took one, but you know, this part takes one less damage from all attacks. Aggressive armoring. Let's try it. It costs zero. I'm curious to like what the upgrades are. <laughs> you get to move with it? Okay, this seems insane. Sure, it's like permanent armor, but like I don't think armor stacks. I think it just sits at one. All at three heat, all your attack steal, plus one. Shard collector. You may hold one more shard. Armored bay. Take the shard collector. I don't know what'll come in handy here, but also now I want to remove a basic shot. This card is so bad at this point. All of our other cards are so good. See so right like this. Boom. Boom. Oh no, it gained armor. Oh, well, who cares? Sure. Uh, let's move one. EMP slug. Oh, we could have stun shot it first before moving. We have taken one extra damage when we did not need to. That's okay. We don't have a shard. We'll get most of a heal, and it gets us out of the fight fairly quickly. Due to not having a ton of block and other things, I would love to get out of the fight quicker rather than linger here in the fight. See, an aggressive armoring has basically no downside. Full heal, because we're playing on easy. Serenity. Yeah, it replaces itself too. Because it replaces itself, I kind of play it. Attack to gain max hull. Max hull is like interesting. 
think we just take the Serenity card. I don't know that I've taken it before. Warp Mastery. Gain three shield and three evade. This is incredible, actually. Setting us up on the first turn is really good. I would prefer, like, an energy artifact or some other things, but... You take what you're offered. Let me see if we can deal with it. I should upgrade the, like, shard so it's in my hand to start. We, like, already get paid. And we get the brittle location. I'll take a hull for brittle. It's fine. The fight's already over. You got it. <laughs> should make this, like, buoyant. So it shows up in my hand to start. Ventilator. Discard one, draw two. I think that's probably pretty good. We do generate some heat. Uh, oops, all like question marks basically, all events. There's an event I'm missing, so. Selene, extra scaffolding. It'll look great on your ship. Tax write off. Added unshootable scaffolding to the right of your middle ship part. I don't know if this is good or not, but it's wacky. You know what? Sure. Looks <laughs> better, I guess. No refunds. Okay. Fair. Um, what's the upgrade on this? Two Serenity draw or draw three. Upgrade on Ventilator. Draw four. I think Ventilator is really good here then. Draw four because we can draw our zero cost cards over and over and over again. I mean, you ditch two cards, but you're drawing four, so you're out drawing the, like, minus. But we don't have, like, a way to generate energy, so, like, that's interesting. Making this buoyant so it starts in my hand is, like, pretty good. Aggressive armoring, I actually think, is better. It does so much damage. You usually don't have to face the downside of it. Of it armoring pieces. Soggins. Sure. Gonna fire missiles at himself. Uh, I don't really want to move a ton. We'll see what happens. We can move a ton and stun one of these shots, but... Sagan's very cool ship. Gonna get hit by one. <sighs> what if we shoot? Oh, we should have aggressive armoring to take out two of them. What if we do that now? Oof, that's like all of our evasion. But maybe it's enough to keep this guy alive. Oh, it's kind of enough to keep this guy alive. That's interesting. I think we ever get hit. He'll get hit. But he doesn't get hit by like two of the missiles. I mean, I think he has like enough. Yeah, you're good, bud. Just keep moving out of your own way, and you'll be good. <laughs> of course, that's the brittle one. Probably should have played ventilator one more time. Oh, you're just gonna sit there. Well, did you fix it? No, you just ran out of missiles. What are the Soggins cards that we were missing? Codex. Cards. It's like way at the bottom. Fear tra- wait, what? Seeker. It's right here. We have Seeker. Okay, what, what other things do you have to offer us? <laughs> so I won't. How about you try again? I offer you a treat. Missile- missile malware seems okay. An artifact I found. Let's take your other card. I've never taken the other one. My precious Seeker Missiles. Usually I click the artifact because it's so good, but let's take his card. Now we have the, like, codex, right? Uh, cards. Yeah, we now have both of Sagan's cards, and they're, like, slightly different colored. This is gonna make the cats, like, one of the cats cards really good, because you can have all these different colored cards. It's, like, pretty neat. Star Dog. We immediately find the brittle location. 
Go back to the Brita location. Oh, it's not brittle anymore. Huh. It's an interesting... Once it's shielded, it's not brittle? Well, that sucks. Didn't tell me that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's not brittle anymore? This is bullshit. I think I just take the four. Oh, it makes him shoot the missiles at himself. <gasps> Wait a second, that's busted as fuck. That's awesome. Uh, Yeah, you're dead. Okay. I didn't realize that you take away his toy from him and it makes that happen. Holy crap. Deflection. All these seem like pretty bad. We'll just skip it. Regenerate. Every three dizzy cards. Here's some cheap dizzy cards. If we generate shields pretty well. Let's make the first turn better. Uh oh. Way too close. Let's jettison something. Lose Serenity. Use Buckshot A. Lose Unpolished Crystal. Lose half your hull. Ugh. It's Serenity. Goodbye. What else is new? Starnacle. I love the, the way the Starnacle looks in Glorp. It's just great. Yeah, so you make your opponent do this. So here in this fight, we can't play aggressive armoring until we find out uh, where the brittle zone is or location. Uh, ventilator just re-rolling all of our cards feels good. Basic dodge. Don't put crap in my deck, please. We'll overheat, that's fine. Uh, six and then nine. It's actually 12, so this is actually dead. You actually don't have to face the downside. That card is insane. Upgrade it to make you move and shoot again. Card is nuts. Ventilator is pretty nuts too. Oh, Grimoire is actually really good for what we have going on. We could take sharp edges too. Max shields. This would also be really good. Grimoire is just like too good. Then we don't have to take hull damage. Treasure. You know it. Upgrade a card. Let's see, upgrade on this twice. Hey, yo. Oh, you get to play it forever when you upgrade it. Interesting. Still think ventilator is better with our like small or very small deck because I think our deck's still pretty small. What up, Riggs? Crystal shard. Uh, stun. No shooting. Ventilate. Move one. Still haven't found the brittle location. That's fine. Uh, do this. We have crystal shards and blocking and the like scaffolding in the middle of our ship. Just hilarious. See, aggressive armoring. The armor doesn't even stack. It's just so good. We can even just chill here. This is like drawing all of our zero cost cards over and over and over again. I mean, sure, it's like the fight is ending. Move one more, I guess, and keep shooting. We take a bunch, but we do heal. I should have moved one more. But also, what about just ending the fight? Can't quite end the fight. The armor does stay forever and does nerf our damage a little bit, but now we can just move over here. Because we have so much card draw, ventilator getting us more cards back. 
I need something like rigs. Give me energy on card back, right? Um, freeze dry A so they don't get to move. Payback. I think payback's actually okay. We take a, we take a bunch of hits so we don't move all that well, but we do have a scaffolding. Free dry so they can't move seems also a play. If we're under half, all of our cards do more. Ooh, wings. Maybe. Hot Dirty Engines is so bad. Every time you gain any shield, gain a temp shield. Let's do this. That seems good. We gain a lot of shields, so we'll be able to protect our actual shield, which is fine. We could find the artifact, get more shields. This is like why artifacts are so strong and you want to see as many elites as possible. Um, is this the spot? No, this is not the spot. What about this spot? Oh, that was the spot. Sad. Well, oh, rip. Uh, I will be moving over one, so do that. And we do nigh infinite damage the first turn. Uh, doesn't matter. I'll just continue to shoot at them. Sure, we don't get to shoot at their brittle spot, but you know, it's okay. Draw four, more of this, more of this. Don't get shot at all. Some of this. This zero move. And then no downside to armoring them up because they're dead. Refresh interval B. We don't draw enough cards for that to like be really good. Um, Double elite and question marks or events. What is my remove? Probably basic shot, to be honest. Get our get it down so that we continue to see like these, but let's look at upgrades. Eh. And give me a stun charge. I don't know that I need that. Plus one damage, eh. Basic shot being free. I, I don't think any of it does that. This is too slow. Just remove the basic shot. The basic shot is doing nothing for us. It's very weird upgrading the evasion to zero so we can play it every time, but it has turned out very well. Tooth, your Emporium. These all seem useless. They're not. Tooth cards. Now I gotta go look at the, co <laughs> the codex again. Sorry for looking at the codex so much. Tooth cards are down at the bottom again. Oh, I've taken all three of these. Bruise. Hurt yourself, heal yourself. That scar is really good. Buckshot could be really good if we get low on health. Um, it goes to five shots, but I don't think we take any of his cards, to be honest. Well, do we have the refund? We have the refund, so maybe we take the refund, because it's one energy, right? Oh, I've never taken Waltz. But why? You know, I couldn't tell you. I've never taken it, have I? Cards. Let's take a look. Where's Waltz down here? Maybe if it's down here, I'm not taking it. It is not. It's right here. Let's go ahead and take it. This is a run where we can afford to take it. Also, I'm curious, like, what the upgrade is. Like, but why? Every time you move, you do something. This, I cannot figure out why Waltz is good. The other ones, I can figure out why, like, when they are, like, okay. Or why they're good. Um, It's in the box. Oh, they're just dead because we hit the brittle path. <laughs> this is why this artifact is so good. Why is this artifact common? Fracture detection is so good. As a cannon B is a way to like end fights, it also gets an energy refund. Um, but also we do like so much damage anyways. Like I don't know that I need it. Like instantly turn every object in the mid row to geodes. I also don't know that I need it. Sure. I don't think I've ever taken it before. Here's the heal booster. Just take the heal booster. I think the other ones are garbage. Oh, Smith again. Oh, we fought Smith earlier. Uh, the missile malware is actually pretty good. So missile malware to start. They get to shoot themselves. Uh, this into mage hand. 
Uh, ventilate. Sweet. Uh, I think we just take the damage. I think taking the damage is fine because it's six and it's hitting the brittle spot. See, look how many, like, few, look how few parts they have. One, two, three, four, five, or six, six parts to their ship. Actually, very good. They're also shooting themselves with the seeker missile, but they're already dead. So, you know. Multi stun, um,. It actually does one because we have Dizzy's uh, plus one damage. I don't know that we need any of this. I think we have enough damage. Jumper cables, artifact. Yeah, I don't know that I want to turn things around in the mid row. I'm good. Let's start with a crystal shard. Let's start with a bloodstone. Not that one. Freeze dried, not that one. Ventilate. Just move out of the way. I think we got this in the long term of the fight. If the fight goes long, we have so much damage. And I do and we have ways to heal as well from the heat and like get rid of the heat. They have comms jams and other things, so it's like not great, but it's fine. Do get to move over one. Make sure we'll take hull, but we can heal it next time. I do not see this as a problem. I'm not moving though, so we can keep shooting. Uh, seems very good for us. Oh, yeah, this. See how we get to heal for two? Easy. Well, let's do the stun shot so they put less garbage in our hand. Uh, this is where I want to shoot, though, so... This one of those is brittle and will end the fight. Zircon Zip A. Probably pretty good. And it's flippable? I don't know how we get away from taking that. That's kind of incredible. Rusting Colossus! It's been a minute. You also don't have many parts on your ship, so... Let's take a look. How about here? Oh, not here. How about here? Oh, yeah. Crystal shard. Waltz. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is that good? If anyone can tell me in the YouTube comments, that'd be great, because I do not know how that is good. And that's fine. I don't need to know how everything is good. It's just very curious. Um, this is fine. The fight's gonna end so quickly that it doesn't really matter. So the flippable Zircon Zip and the zero costing shield with shield surge on Dizzy, shield burst on Dizzy. This guy also likes to reline up on the cockpit over here, so not sure why, but they sure do. We'll just chill here take a full block and the acid is like creeping in and they just get to chill out with us we'll freeze dry again and block and shoot and medusa even if we take some because we're not going to full block oh we did almost full block it's like oh even if we take some it's fine we didn't really have to take any mining drill probably not heat wave b Power drive. This seems insane. Power drive stays around forever. We shuffle our deck a good amount, so big sharp edges. We have very few combats that we just have the core. We could fight Cleo. I do not think we have a deck to fight Cleo. This is not. I have fought Cleo two or three times. You can find it on the YouTube videos. But uh, I do not think this is it. Let's take a look at our upgrades. Missile malware. It's probably pretty good as an upgrade that you just keep shooting. Okay. To the core. Cat, see you in the next loop is right. Freeze dry. We're not shooting any missiles, but shoot them anyways. Keep shooting them and take my heal and get our setup. So now we have all our crystal shards ready. Oh yeah, everything ready. I'm gonna save my crystal shard for Zircon Zip. 
Uh, Zircon zips a lot of movement. Um, now that we want to do this, but putting in damage seems good. Um, Medusa field, this just seems so bad. It's pretty funny. I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt, but like, it just seems so bad. Move back here. Some of this. I don't want to armor the middle here. They have a ton of shields still. We'll see how this plays out. I'd like to find the brittle section. Would also like to flip their missiles back to themselves. We're also looking for this heat wave B, which is great. Makes all of our shots do way more. Um, come over here and shoot. No? Okay, just waste uh, evasion. We do take slightly less damage, so it's not too bad. Much of a problem. Uh, this heat sink moves us into the correct position. We can then fire here. It's on the wrong turn. Having the scaffolding in the middle, uh, I was thinking about the Cobalt Core fight, and it's coming in very handy. Uh, freeze dry? None of these are the, um, the brittle location. Take the stun shot. And we'll just take two. We are able to heal up and we do more damage when we are at half life anyways. I don't know that we'll get there, but this is a fairly mediocre turn at best. But the scaffolding in the middle saving us a little bit of damage. It's probably costing us some and saving us some. It's a little bit of both. Um, let's do Zircon Zip this way. It's so good. Uh, aggressive Armoring is not playing out, out all that well in this fight. Uh, aggressive Armoring B. But we can play this fight a little bit longer and it's still fine. This Medusa field is underperforming at best. Um, whatever. Due to this uh, shield burst, this is an incredible amount of block. Um... What's in the deck? It's a ventilator. Uh, we'll just move over like this and shoot here so we get extra damage. And we'll ventilate and see where we're at. Freeze drive means we can get to continue to shoot on the mid frame here. What I was looking for was... Uh, I was looking more for sh reverse the missiles at them to do six damage. Because these are three damage missiles, so they're heavy missiles. And with that in mind, it's like, oh boy. That's a lot of damage. Uh, let's grab a crystal so we can heal. Uh, this is three. This is enough. Because that's how math works. We're out of the fight. That was a sweet run. I am not a very big books enjoyer as they are so slow to set up. Uh, but Waltz came in really handy a couple times. Oh, no, Missile Mower B came in really handy a couple times. I still don't know how Waltz is good, but I have taken it now. Uh, what was the Shining Star for this? Um, this Aggressive Armoring B was insane, along with this Fracture Detection. Uh, this should be an uncommon artifact. Anyways, if you uh, like this video, go ahead and press subscribe, and we'll see you next time.